Hey y'all, it's Jocelyn McClellan with Fit Mission Makeup and today I am bringing you seven easy ways to accessorize your short hairstyles for 2019. There's so many ways that you can do this, so this is my top seven that I just wanted to whip them out for you, so here we go. ladies real quick like I'm gonna curl my hair this isn't gonna be the main part of the video I'm just gonna curl it up real fast I'm gonna show you actually two different things um I will curl it and I'll do some looks and then I'm going to just do a quick flat iron to loosen up some of that curl and give you another one I want to make sure that you're gonna master this so I've tried to pick things that are really really easy for you the hair clips that I'm using are just like uh, uh. And I have a trick to make them stay in even better. All right, here we go. So what I'm gonna do right now is walk you through seven ways you can clip up your hair. You can do all kinds of fun things. I'm gonna show you fun ones with just bobby pins. And then we're gonna have little hair clips as well. Um, fun accessories for your hair. You guys, these are so stinking easy to get these on Amazon. Um, this one I got at Modern Piggy. And these one, these ones, dude, you can get these anywhere, but with the little fancy words that say things. And then this baby, you know the craft store Michaels? I went to the bridal section. I got this one at Michaels in the bridal section. This one I wore for a fancy event, so this one would be more fun for like a girls' night or a wedding um, or a formal event that you're just gonna clip into your hair. So here you go. I'm gonna show you seven different ways to wear your hair. I'm gonna do a couple with a curly, and then we're gonna go and straighten some out. So here we go. All right, so our very first one is this baby right here. If you have a formal event that you just wanna whip on through, look, all I'm going to do, so I'm gonna take my handy dandy comb right here, and you're gonna part where you want this so it's nice and clean. You're then, you can have, you can wear this a couple different ways. You can make this have this little curl in it, or you can pull it really tight. So decide how you want. So here's one with having it kind of loose up top, Okay, and then it's, we're gonna clip it. And then here is the other for having it be tighter. All right, so I'm gonna show you this one with it a little loose on top. And this clip is so good, you don't have to do like back in the old days, in the 80s, if you remember that, or maybe it didn't exist then, but I did. Um, we would come in here and then we'd have to push it in. This one works really well to just push it in. So I'm gonna hit that bottom part right here, and then I'm just gonna slide it in. And then I have it. You can kinda see it right there. You see that? You see that? Have it right there. And then you're good to go. If we wanna make sure that this is nice and curled, that it's not straight, give it a good curl. And you can have curls wrap around it. And here we go. So there's one way that you can wear your hair. Another way you can wear it with it still fancy, still kind of feeling that formal, but a girls night too. Heck, I'd wear it even when I'm wearing a t-shirt all the time. All right, we have bobby pins. Now we wanna turn the bobby pins. Here's our little, I don't know if I can show you this. So just your basic bobby pin. You can get these in all different colors, but I just have plain Jane colors, but I would get like black. Um, or if you have black hair, I'd get like gold, something that you can spruce it up a bit. But we're going to take this and I'm going to turn it so that only the flat side is showing. So the flat side is what I want and you can make, um, you want the whole thing to show. So this one, it just takes a little bit longer just because you have to make sure the whole thing's showing and there's no hidden parts, but it's a super easy way to do your hair. It just takes longer to make sure everything is showing. And again, nothing is hidden. 
So I'm going to put these in a pattern. The, the pattern that you do can be so simple. You can go just straight up and down. You can space them out. Like you wanna keep like a pencil, a pencil width or finger tip width apart of each one, but you're just going to, how you can actually go closer than that. But it's fun to just get these lined up on here and make them nice and even. So again, if I'm looking in a mirror, this is gonna be 10 times easier to keep checking the, all the hairs. The other thing you wanna really, really watch for is making sure that these hairs are where they need to be and that they're not pulled up too well. So if I get one out of line right now, I apologize, but keep this area right here, like pay attention to that, keep it clean. You wanna make sure all your parts are kept clean. So I'm gonna do this. I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna piece these closer together and try and guess if I got them all in the right spot. But it's really cool what you can do with the bobby pins because you can even make a basket weave with them and go straight across or not. So I'll whip these babies out. And I'm going to, I will go, I will give this video a little pause. I'm gonna go adjust, make sure that these are right where I want them and I'll come right on back. All right, I assessed the situation, gave these babies a little right there. Another fun thing you could do with this is just place this over the top of it to add just a little secret sauce to it. But here's just the five. You can continue to do this and if you have longer hair than me, you can use even more and you can wrap this more so around your head, do both sides so the two are meeting and you have just this really cool pattern with your bobby pins. All right, this is number three. I'll take these babies out. I'm gonna spray this hair. We're gonna liven this up. Now I'm just gonna take a couple pieces. I have this all nice and curled. This one right here, it gives me a really good curl. So I don't wanna mess with that one. I'm gonna pull this piece right along here. Okay, and I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna take it in two sections and I'm going to do a twist. So one comes to, they're coming like different directions. So one comes in, one comes out, and you're twisting them in different directions, which is gonna keep that twist that you have right there, okay? You're gonna take this section, and you don't need that to stay tight, but you need to make sure that w the direction that you twist this top piece, that they that it moves really well with the direction you're wanting to go. So if you twisted it, that it like, it needs to, to, for this to sit pretty, it needs to come more down here or come more up here. See how if I were to put it up here, it leaves that like really funky movement right there. So I want this one to kind of come down more and I'm going to, I'm going to pick what I want it to go over or under some hairs. So I want it to kind of go over that really cool wave that we have, but I want it to come under these next ones right here. So I'm going to lift them up. I'm gonna put this under. I'm gonna grab my bobby pin and I'm gonna pin that. And so now I just have this really cool pin back piece. Now you can do as many as you want with these. You can keep this hair right in front of you like this, or this one can now come in like a loose and pin that too. So there's a lot of different things you can do, but take these little pieces and pin them. To make it more drastic, I'm gonna take that front piece, and I, if I want my, my twists to show more, see we're not having to braid our hair, so it's easier. I said easy hairstyles, right? Okay, so we're doing the twists. And I need to make sure that I'm twisting this in the direction if, that I want. So don't twist it down to your face if you're wanting it to come back. Okay, and then I'm gonna pin that one. Underneath. And then I'm gonna take this one. And I'm gonna do it as well. All right, so now we have some really fun hair. These little twists make all the difference in your look. Again, to go to a mirror, make sure that you don't have pieces that are out. All right. All 
All right, cuties, I'm gonna hurry and just whip on through the flat iron and kind of brush out these curls. Here we go, now we can do whatever the heck we want, right? So we can have a couple different options. Depending on what kind of girl you are, you might wanna just throw your hair up, so sticking easy for the day, short hair, half up, half down, use these little cuties right here, take it around a couple times and then poof this up. And you can poof it just by your fingers. Okay, here we go for another. So that one was just easy peasy. But we're gonna take these. I'm going to part this more so down the middle. But we're gonna part this more down the middle. We're gonna keep these two little swoopy dupes that I have. Now, because it was already curled, which is very, very helpful, I'm gonna take these and I'm just gonna continue to roll these through right in like so, okay? I'm gonna take my, you can take a bobby pin or you can take a hair clip. So you, if you have two of the same hair clips, which my two of the same hair clips are on the way in the mail right now, so I don't have, actually, wait, wait, we do. We got the turquoise. Okay, so you can either take these and put these little cuties and lay them in your hair. And then we're going to roll this one back too. And you wanna make sure that they're around the same size, the same bubble on the front on both sides and then right here. And then you're gonna make these be on the same angle in your head, which I kinda hope they are. Right there, so again, so easy. Okay, there's another one. Now, I'm gonna show you another tip and trick. These puppies I just got from Amazon. Now, they don't have the tightest hold, so here's a tip for you when you have brand new hair, um, any of them, any hair clips that you have, you take your hairspray and with your hairspray, you're just gonna spray it and you're gonna let it sit and you're gonna build, get that build up on your hair products and on the bottom of the clip right there. And you're just gonna kinda let them sit. And then as it's almost dry, you can take your hair clip and you can just put it in your hair and it's gonna give it that volume. Now one thing that we have to remember when we're putting these clips in our hair is it's easy to pull too much hair into them. So it's better to like have it kinda lay over top of it carefully than it is to over pull. So just make sure that you're not pulling too much. And the cool thing about these two is they came with a silver and a gold. So I can take this baby sprayer, have her almost dry, like so. There's a double layer, silver and gold. Mix your jewelry up like that. All right, you cuties, here we go for this one. So I have little crazy hair going on right now because I've kind of um, parted this top part up and then get it up out of the way. Okay, now I'm trying to make it so that it's way easier for all of you, so I'm not doing any braids, um, but I'm gonna do, I already showed you the little twist, so now we're just gonna do rolls because rolls would make it really easy, right? So again, you wanna pay attention to the direction you're wanting to take the hair. But I want it to start closer to my roots. So I have to, I still have a hand on all of the hair that I wanna use. I'm just pulling it sooner throughout, okay? So I'm gonna pin that. Okay, then I'm gonna take this next one and I'm going to pull it. I don't wanna to go too wide, depending on how your hair growth is by your hairline. I don't wanna to go too wide, but I'm gonna go up and over that section. And I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna pull it tight. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing. But that one, you have to make sure that you pull this one how you want it, otherwise it gets really funky right down there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. I'm gonna whip that through a lot quicker. I'm gonna speed that part up and then we'll get to the front.
Okay, so now we have both sides done, three on each side, okay? Both babies are done. So you can actually do something so fun here, depending on your personality and what you want to rub. You can mohawk this and kind of just make it ride throughout this top part, which how cool is that? This one's just a fun way to end things, you guys. Um, what I'm going to do, and you could actually grab, you know those teeny tiny clear elastics that are so small? That would make this a little bit easier and it could actually make a cool thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well, let's do it right here. I'm gonna part my hair straight across and I'm gonna section this off. So I have one section here and then I have this other section here. I wanna get that one out of my way so that I can now rat this section so I can create some body. Okay, so I want this hair to be all loose. So I don't wanna go, I don't wanna do too much of this. So I have some really good coverage in the back. I'm going to do this right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna make that be, I'm down, I want it to be loose. I don't want it to be tight because I wanna have that volume up on top here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this one. I'm going to, again, back comb this piece. And we're gonna just make this one more edgy and fun. Okay, so make sure your front is how you want it and do it loose. Cause I'm just wanting that to kind of hold things in place. So what I did was um, I took that section right there. I, and I left it at this. I took the section right here, kept it loose, back combed it so it's on there loose. And then this piece right here, I made it stay loose as well, back combed it as well, make sure the front is how I want it. Here we have it from a side um, point of view. And from a side point of view. So this one's just a little sassy, edgy, fun. This look would probably take you about 10, 15 minutes. So I think this look wouldn't look as good if your hair was straight. I definitely think you need to have a little body to it, but it's really fun, don't you think? All right, cuties, so there's the seven ways that I do my hair that you can do your hair to accessorize so easy. Easy hairstyles for short hair 2019. I hope that you guys enjoyed this live. Make sure that you remember that if you want and you get the little dings and all the things to be able to watch my videos when they do pop up, that you hit subscribe and hit that bell button so you can check them out. Uh, don't forget that you can follow me on Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan on Facebook where I do so many hair tutorials weekly and makeup tutorials. And then also always my very, very favorite where I get to connect with you guys the most is Instagram at Jocelyn.McClellan. All right, you guys, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.